So in this problem, we're going to find a surface area of revolution. We're taking this function y equals 3x cubed, which in the first quadrant looks something like that. We're then rotating the region around the x-axis, giving us some volume that looks like that. And we want to find the surface area of that volume. Well, since we're rotating around the x-axis, the two possible formulas we could use are over here. We have two possible formulas here, just like we did with the arc length formulas. If we were instead wanting to rotate this region around the y-axis, we could just change this to an x in that formula and that to an x in that formula. So when finding the surface area of revolution, the formula depends on the axis you're rotating around, and the choice of formula that you use depends on whether your function is given with respect to x or with respect to y. In this example, we're given a function of x, and we're rotating around the x-axis, so we're going to use this formula right here. And of course, we're just going to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 3. And you'll notice in this formula, we need dy dx. We're given y equals 3x cubed. Taking a derivative of that with respect to x, X gives us 9x squared, which we can plug into this formula. We can also plug y equals 3x cubed into the formula right here, and that is going to give us the integral that we need to find. And this integral will not always be simple. Let's see, I'm going to take 2 pi and the 3 out of the integral. We can also square 9x squared to get 81x to the fourth. And this is an integral that we can complete using a u substitution. I know this because if we set u equal to whatever is under the square root, I know that our du is is going to have an x cubed in it. And since we have an x cubed out here in our integral, I know that that's going to work out. In this case, I can solve x cubed dx for 1 over 324 du, meaning that those two terms together are just going to give us 1 over 324 du. Pulling that 324 out of the integral and rewriting the square root of u as u to the 1 half, we can simplify what's outside of the integral and we need to remember that we had a definite integral here. The limits on x were 0 to 3. However, now we're integrating with respect to u. So let's find out what the limits on u are. Taking x equals 0 and plugging it into this equation up here gives us u equals 1. And plugging x equals 3 into the same equation gives us a really big number. I'm getting u is 6563. So our limits on this integral are going to be 1 to 6563. Now let's actually integrate. That means raising the power from 1 half to 3 halves. Dividing by that 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Canceling the 2 with the 54 gives us 27 in the denominator. Multiplying that 27 times 3 is going to give us an 81 in the denominator. Then plugging in our upper and lower limits of integration gives us the final answer that we are looking for. Now looking over my work here, I noticed that this number should actually be 6562. I'm just going to go through and change all of those. And now it looks like the final answer is correct. And we can zoom out on that. And we can go on to the next video. I hope to see you there.